there any drink that tastes like summer more than a pina colada? I don't think so. It's one of my favorite drinks. And so I'm gonna do a really super easy pina colada for you that instead of using pineapple, it uses our passion fruit wine. Um, now, wine doesn't freeze that great, so these are a little bit mushy, but that's okay. It's just enough iciness to really add a great texture to this drink. So I put it into ice cube trays, and I'm gonna do six cubes. And then the next part is, uh, is coconut cream. And I've actually done a little bit of a shortcut here. There's a couple ways you can go about doing the, these uh, coconut cubes. One of them, the easiest, is just to buy Coco Lopez, which is, uh, which is already a combination of coconut and sugar. Uh, you can make this yourself as well. Do equal parts of coconut milk and a little bit of simple syrup and freeze those and it works just as well. So because there's so much sugar in this, it's not gonna freeze that well, but that's okay as well, because it, it, what this is gonna do is be still icy cold, and it'll add to the final texture of our drink. Now, of course, the most important part of a pina colada is the rum. And this rum that I'm using is, is special. You could use any rum you want, um, but what I'm using this time is actually a really unique rum that has a combination of a little bit of pineapple in it. Um, it's infused with fresh pineapple and dark rum is from Plantation. Really awesome rum. I could drink this stuff straight. So I'm gonna do an ounce and a half of rum in this, and of course you can adjust it to taste. If you want a stronger pina colada, feel free to do a little bit more. It really is just that simple. So now we'll add this to our glass. You can see no ice cubes needed. It's perfectly frothy and rich and thick. And it really isn't a pina colada until, until you add an umbrella. And you know, more is more when it comes to garnishes. And there you have it, to summer. <laughs>